have obviously the jar that holds all the good stuff in it. I wanted to do this review for you, for you guys, because number one, I have every single color in the collection that is coming out on Thursday, and number two, because I seem to be pretty obsessed with all of these. And I know that kind of happens in a lot of my reviews, but I'm not kidding, I'm obsessed with all of them. Not a single one of these colors was unflattering on me, at least in my opinion, and I felt like since I have them all and I have them all before they come out, I really should give you guys a review video so that you know what colors you should be purchasing on Thursday. A little bit of information on these ColourPop liquid lipsticks is that they come out Thursday, first of all. I'll put their website down below so that you can click on that link on Thursday and purchase some of them. The other thing is that they retail for $6. Yes, I'm not kidding, $6. Wearing one of them right now, this one is called Tool, and you can just see, and throughout the rest of the video, you're gonna see how amazingly pigmented all of these colors are, and how worth $6 they really are. Finally, you can buy more than one color. You don't just need to have one of them, because one of them isn't that expensive. I'm going to take one of the colors on my hand right now so you could see how it goes on and how it dries. So this color is called Creeper. This is a really bright red color. So this color next to it, next to it is actually Succulent. So I'm gonna put Creeper right next to Succulent. So it goes on with just a shine, kind of like it's wet, which it is. And we're gonna give it about probably 30 seconds for it to fully dry. So as we're waiting for that to dry, the actual product in the liquid lipstick is thin, but at the same time gives you a really, really high pigmentation, as you can see how much I just put on my hand right there and how pigmented and opaque it is. A couple of these lipsticks you'll see need a little bit more than one coat. The thing about the coats with these is that you don't want to put more than one coat on after it dries. So once the liquid lipstick dries, you don't want to put another coat on top because then it'll feel really thick and dry on your lips. If you just put one thin coat of this liquid lipstick on, it's going to feel really lightweight on your lips and it's not going to dry out your lips either. So as you can see, this one doesn't look like it's drying out my lips. It just looks like it's a lipstick on top of my lips. They don't come off unless you want them to. So, it doesn't come off. Before I filmed this review, over the weekend, I went out to a margarita bar with some of my friends and I had a margarita and I had some chips and I ate a little bit and I cheated on my diet a little bit. I wanted to try them out because I really wanted to see how it was gonna work on me personally so that I can give you guys a really, really solid review. They don't come off anywhere on your lips. If you do put another layer on top of the first layer, then it will come off just a little bit. It'll kind of flake off, but like I said, if you just put one layer or one coat on your lips or two coats before it dries, um, you will be good to go and it's not going to come off. I had a margarita and I was eating a little bit and it came off just a tiny bit on the center, but you couldn't even tell. It's kind of like when I put out my lips like this. You can see in the center, that's my actual like inside of my lip, but if I keep my mouth closed, you can see that it's all there. Here is the hand with the dried matte lip. So as you can see, it's still pigmented. It just doesn't have that shine anymore on it. So if you wanna see my full review and swatches, then please keep on watching. 
So this color that I have on my lips right now is called Vice. It is a really pretty baby, like a pale baby pink color. And I was a little worried that it was actually going to dry me out or something like that, but it has a little tint, enough tint of a pink in it that it actually looks really, really good. So let's move on to the next one. So this one is the color Shimmy. It is a little bit more of a pinky purple color. I feel like this is a springtime color, definitely, but I really do like the way that this one looks. This color is called Midi, and this is more on the taupey pink side. I'm really loving how none of these lighter colors are washing me out like a lot of colors do. So I'm really excited to see what the rest of this collection looks like. I'm really liking this color. This one is called Trap. It's definitely darker than the last taupe color. I want to say that it's on the purple side, but it is a really, really unique color and I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of like that daring lip color, but it's not too daring and it's still a little bit nude and a little bit wearable. So Trap is definitely up there in my top favorites of this collection so far. This color is called Salo and I'm really liking this rosy pink feel that it gives to my entire face, honestly. I've never found a pink that does me any justice and sometimes I don't want to go for that really bright pink or that really pale pink. I want something in the middle and this one is just that. So this guy right here is called Donut and I'm feeling a little hungry now because first of all, his name is Donut and second, it's such a guava color that it makes me want to go and eat a giant bowl of fruit and ice cream and donuts and... <sighs> this one is called First Base. If you think of the color pink, this is 110% the color that you think of. So this guy is called Bumble, and again, it's another color that I've never seen before, which is amazing because every penny that you spend on these lipsticks is gonna be worthwhile because you're not going to have it in your makeup collection. This one is called Tool. This color is called Limbo, and I'm really loving how chocolatey and brown it is. This color is amazing. This color is called Lax, and the only thing that I have to say about this beautiful blood red color is that you might need a layer or two to really get the opacity of the color to show, but once it's dry, it is gorgeous. So this color is called Avenue, and Avenue is your basic cherry, deep, cherry red color. And I'm really loving this one too. Guys, I just, I just love them all. This one is called Creeper. Creeper is an extremely vibrant red, and I think would look absolutely gorgeous on any skin tone, any hair color. So this color is called Succulent, and it's even brighter than Avenue, has a little bit more of an orange undertone to it, but again, like the rest of them, I'm still loving all of them. I'm loving this color. I'm loving all of them, and every time that I pick up a new one and I put it on, I'm loving them even more and more. So this color is called OG. I think that's how you say it. O-U-I-J-I. -I. And this color is very, very similar to the color I tried on before called Donut, but this one's more of an RG melon shade and the other is more of a pink guava shade. This color is called Pacific. Pacific is a really, really bright orange color. Duh. This color is called Highball and it is your brightest, brightest candy pink. This one is called Mars, and if you want something that's a little bit more toned down than the last one, then this is definitely your pink. So this color is called Sunday, and Sunday is a very interesting color of the collection. It has a little bit of a blue undertone of a 
kind of like an iridescence in it, and it's really, really pretty. This color is called Buds. This color is called Seesaw. This next color is called Koala. I'm really, really loving this one. I don't usually wear purple lipsticks or purple anything really, but this purple is so interesting and it's really bright and I might actually wear it out. This color is called Drive-In and I'm really loving how this purple gives kind of like a flowery feel to my lips. And I honestly think that it pairs well with probably anything. This color is called Lychee. It's a little bit similar to the last color but has more of a deep purple tone to it. So this last color is called Zipper and it is a really, really deep dark purple and I'm really loving this one. I love the entire collection. I finished trying them all on. As you can see, I'm a little bit red from trying on all 25 but it was 100% worth it. for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my review on all of these. I'm honestly just, I love all of them. There really wasn't a single color that I wasn't happy about. I think this collection is definitely going to break the internet and is going to be the bomb.com. So be sure to check out ColourPop and all of the other amazing products that they have. They have a bunch of lip liners that will go amazing with these lipsticks, eyeshadows, highlighters, a bunch of stuff. So go and check them out. I'm going to put their website down below. The blog post for this entire review video will also be down below. That will have a lot of pictures. Um, this video will be attached to it and there will also be a couple snippets on how I feel about each color. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos with me. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!